Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my October favorites and I wanted to make sure to get this one up earlier than my last two favorites which were around the middle of the month. So I had a couple products that I wanted to share with you guys and the first product that I wanted to mention, this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation with a really long name. Um, I'll link down the review and demo that I did down below. But I have been loving this foundation. This is kind of like the revamped version of the original Silk Cream. And they have two different versions. This moisturizing one and the oil-free one for oily to normal skin. Whereas this one's for like dry to normal skin. So if you guys want to see that review that I did, see if this is a foundation you really love. I have been loving it. The more that I use it, the more that I love it. So check that one out. To go with that foundation or any of my foundations in general, I've actually been loving this crown brush. This is like a kind of more rounded top kabuki brush because there's flat top kabuki brushes and then there's this more rounded one. And honestly, I have been loving the more rounded kabuki brushes. Synthetic brush, really great for adding on your foundation. I have a flat top, but I kind of after a while I was like, oh, I don't know how to feel about a flat top. So I was all about the beauty blender. Now I'm all back into the brushes. I've just been mixing and matching, but I've been really been loving this brush in particular. I this up when I went to BeautyCon um, in New York and honestly crown brush is really inexpensive I'll link down their site below they always have sales and they always actually come out in Hot Look um, that's a kind of a flash sale site every day they have different types of sales for high-end products or even just not even that expensive products like crown brush crown brush is always on there so I always try to get something so if you don't want to get it from their site this is probably no more than $14-$13 um, I'll link it down you know below Really inexpensive. I've been loving it, especially for those of you who love a type of full coverage look, but you don't want to go in with an outright full coverage foundation like that Laura Mercier. You maybe want to build up your foundation. If you want to get a more full coverage, definitely go with type of a round top, flat top, kabuki brush like this. I'm just going to continue on the brush route because the next two are also two other crown brushes that I've been picking up. Honestly, a bunch of the crown brushes that I've been using, I've been loving, so you're probably going to see the rest and a couple other favorites. These have just been the ones that I've been using so much since I got them. And this next one, this is actually called the Chisel Brush. Who doesn't like a chisel brush to chisel out the cheekbones? And I love the configuration <laughs> the way that it is shaped because it's like a little bit on the thinner side but it's got that nice pointed top so you can really get in there and chisel out those cheekbones get a really nice defined but you can also blend out that contour and you know get down underneath this is also really great if you want to go underneath the eyes I have been loving this brush also very very inexpensive crown brushes if you want to get some starter brushes definitely check these out they're individual brushes they also have sets but normally a lot of times sets aren't as good as the individual ones so I'd rather invest little by little in individual brushes and then the last crown brush that I've been loving this is the pointed blender brush so this is just a tiny little pointed um, blending brush for concealer I have been loving this because I have a bigger like say Sigma one it is huge and that's really great it goes really quick but I like that I can get really precisely in I have those really fine lines so really really get in there and pack that color blend it out make sure to not get creasing underneath my eyes so I've been loving usually I go into beauty blender and I love the beauty blender but if I want to switch it up say if I pack my makeup and I don't have a beauty blender with me I'll use that crown brush and then I use this underneath the eyes and I have been loving it also very inexpensive the only thing about crown brush is weird but some of their inexpensive brushes Brushes, like say this round top kabuki brush it does not have like a name or like what the hell are you how do I tell people <laughs> I gotta try to find an outline like yeah I'm pretty sure this is the one but some of them do have the name on there like this pointed blender I was like why not put it on all of them and then the last brush also I've been loving inexpensive brushes because I'm not one to brushes I love brushes but I'm not one to splurge on a brush like it really takes a lot for me to be like you know let me buy that $50 brush uh, it's gonna take a lot it's so much easier to find or pick up very inexpensive brushes but then sometimes you're like Ugh, is it gonna be good so this is one that's really great once again elf brushes the studio line of brushes this is a flawless concealer brush really really great three dollars these brushes run three dollars 
dollars six dollars maybe about ten dollars max you're kind of pushing it there elf but still very inexpensive i have been loving this brush this is just like a bigger fluffy brush that you might use in the crease of your eye but i love this yes for the concealer but also for like kind of setting underneath your eyes has been really really great so for those of you who maybe feel like this real techniques setting brush is a little bit too expensive this is maybe about seven dollars but maybe that's not in your budget guess what half the price cheaper than half the price you got this elf brush works just as great to set your powder underneath your eyes for your highlight if you want that real nice defined contour go ahead and use this one now for my favorite part the lipsticks I am a lipstick junkie I love this probably my favorite makeup product and I've actually got a good mix of high-end and drugstore probably more drugstore for my favorites this month if you count the two lip pencils so I've actually been trying to get back into Revlon and lipsticks Revlon was actually the first drugstore brand first like brand of makeup that I ever tried um, and I was just all into Revlon 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 but then you know I kind of get you know introduced to all these other products but the lipsticks I actually probably will be eventually filming a Revlon lipstick swatches so you guys can see because I love they have so many lipsticks that's why I also fell in love with Maybelline because they have so many different colors and I love the Maybelline formula but then I picked up two Revlon lipsticks a super lustrous lip colors and I fell back and I was like, yes, this is why I love them. And I have so many because when I first started makeup, I was afraid of the dark, bright lips. But now I am in love with every range of color and I am more, you know, inclined to try different colors. So I picked up, especially because every once in a while, Ulta will have 40% off certain brands. Revlon is one of them. So if you want to get 40% off, really inexpensive. Yeah, I picked up some lipsticks. So the two that I have been loving for this month, let's go with the more neutral shade. I think this is going to look really great on so so many different people. This is the one rose velvet and this is a cream formula and honestly I feel like the Revlon cream formulas are probably my favorite. They feel really really great on the lips. I'll show you guys a really nice swatch. This is a nice nudie rosy color. This is going to look really great like I said on so many different skin tones. It's not going to wash you out. It's going to give you that nice your lips but better type of color and you can really turn this around with whatever type of lip liner that you want but I've been loving loving this formula. Loving this lipstick color. I was like should I get it? Should I not? I'm so glad that I got it. And if you don't want to get an Ulta, Target and Walmart really inexpensive for drugs so if you want to save like two more dollars than Ulta. The next Revlon lipstick color if you want to get a little bit crazier a little bit brighter this is another cream formula honestly I'm not a fan of the pearl one I don't like frosty colors on my lips whatever brand it is so I always go for the cream ones maybe the matte ones but I haven't been seeing the matte formula of uh, Revlon as much but regardless I got another cream one this is called cherries in the snow this is a beautiful pink bright pink got some like red tones in there but the pink tones oh I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I'll actually link down below uh, me wearing it in my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Review and Demo. I wore this. I was like, oh, so in love with this color. And honestly, you can wear a bright color like this all year round. You do you. But hey, we have a crazy color. We have a more neutral color for those of you who like either one over the other or if you like both. But regard ugh, this formula, so, so creamy. I have fallen back in love with my Revlon, so I definitely have to get more for you guys. The next two higher-end lipsticks, lip products that I've been loving, these are the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. These are really great, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I love the formula. They don't set completely matte. Um, they kind of satiny. I don't, I don't know how to explain the finish of them, um, but it depends also. I feel like maybe this lighter, more nudie color sets a little bit more matte than, say, this brighter color. The only um, issue I might have with, say, like this brighter color, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the one Melted Berry, and this is the one Chihuahua. I have two other colors. Eventually, maybe I'll do a swatch of them all, but these are expensive, so it's going to take me a while. <laughs> but, oh my god, Melted Berry. I fell in love with it. I'm going to give you guys a huge swatch. This is just a beautiful berry color the only issue I have with this is that because it doesn't set completely matte uh, be careful just be careful do some check-ins during the day uh, make sure it's not on your teeth it happened to me and make sure you know it doesn't kind of like feather out and about you know from your range I would say maybe with the brighter colors try to wear a lip liner just in case that's just the issue with any bright colored lip product that's not matte you're just gonna have to be you know doing a couple check-ins with it 
And then so you guys can see a swatch of the Melted Chihuahua. It's a really beautiful nude. It's not, yet again, one of those nudes that's really, really light that's going to wash you out. It has some color in there. I feel like a lot of people are liking the nudes with some color. And once again, with that lip liner, you can really manipulate this color. I'm actually wearing this color on my lips with my other favorite. This is the Rimmel Lip Liner in the Color Rich. So if you guys will see the Color Rich, this is not a nude by far. This is kind of like more of a brown burgundy lip shade but I put this all over my lips and I put the melted chihuahua color right on top so if you want to like kind of change it up make it a little bit darker um, you can go ahead and do that and I actually really like this lip combo so you know, just depending what's your favorite my other in general I have been loving these Rimmel lip liners I love how they glide on I love the staying power they're just really great and I love the fact that they're retractable so the other Rimmel <laughs> lip liner that I've been loving this is the color epic it's a little bit lighter still has like that brown tone in it but you know if you want to go something with your nudes not make them too dark I would definitely go for these um, the other one that I really am in love with is addiction I mentioned that in another favorites <sighs> these Rimmel lip liners and if you find them in the store and there's only one left of the color that you want grab it because these are always sold out I just I'm like holy crap this formula this lip pencil it's a drugstore definitely go out and get them so those are all my favorites for the month of October. I have a lot of great <laughs> lipstick products for you guys to try out from drugstore to high end. I love both drugstore and high end. I love an affordable makeup product, but I also love, you know, kind of treat yourself a little bit. You know, you can't help with the luxury and the packaging and the formulation. So I love everything. I try to show you guys a really great mix. Definitely throwing in and getting a lot more drugstore products just because I like to splurge, um, but I also like to get, you know, a bang for my buck. So whenever I get, you know, kind of like a drugstore shopping spree, I just feel like, oh my god, look at all these products. Whereas if you go to Sephora, it's like, oh crap, I just spent like, you know, $50 on two, like not even two products, <laughs> a product and a half and a little sample. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that mix here on my channel. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.